Hey, it's your buddy, Alonzo. Hey, I just want to say something about this upcoming summer. And I want to say something to the young people, the teenagers, and more importantly, teenage young men coming up uh, who want to succeed in life and want to have a certain monetary money you know go chains and a lot of the things that are being sold to you on television uh, with um, music videos and that image uh, that is placed in your mind for uh, what a man should be and cell phones uh, cars with big rims and uh, all of those manufactured product um, from different industries and corporations and conglomerates uh, that um, that tells you that this is what you need in order to get a, be a man or to get a woman or or to just have sex or or live that kind of lifestyle a sexual pers promiscuous lifestyle which is often riddled with um, AIDS and disease and those kind of things. Uh, so before you just click out, I just want to say this, you know, there is along with that type of lifestyles and the woes of that lifestyle of, um, you know, you get money, but you can go to jail, you know, from illegal activity. I just like you to think about that for a second. Just that, you know, okay, you can get a lot of money, but anytime you know, any of that stuff is traced, which has been traced thousands of times. There's been hundreds of people that have gone to jail and who lived their life in a, what it's, five by eight, what is it, the size? I don't know. I've never been in the jail. Uh, but uh, I managed to stay out. I make a conscious effort to stay away from anything that will lead me into jail, you know. Uh, and so I have to learn to control you know, whatever, my behavior or whatever. But so far, uh, I've been ma managed to do it, thank God. But I wanted to say this, is that anything that has to do with um, that kind of lifestyle, you know, it's being sold to you. That, you know, that, you know, uh, and it uses uh, things like, you know, pretty women or women that really, you know, at, at the next highest bidder, you know, that aren't going to be yours, aren't going to show you any respect, will sell you out, um, you know, because it's basically money and things like that for them or that image of a lifestyle, you know, that has been manufactured for you to follow, okay, and determine what it takes for you to be a man. I just want to say to you that you should really consider defining your own sense of self and what it means to be a man if 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 having a lot of good things and a lot of nice materialistic things will make you a man what happens if you know something happens and you know I drop it like right now and it's broke does my manhood go with that I just want to know if, if like just God forbid, you know, an accident or anything happens to anything, you know, where uh, I lose, I lose all of that kind of stuff. Or let's say you would get a nice car and you crash the car. Is your manhood crash with that? So, you know, the place of value of that or that lifestyle, you know, it, it doesn't really make you a man if any of those women will go out to the next highest bidder. Or, or you catch a disease from them. You know, just think about this. That, if you want that stuff, and you and those kind of lifestyles that really generally aren't worth having, and then you turn around and you take a product, a product, a drug that is essentially, I don't know about the high or anything like that, but I'm sure it's pretty much only 10%. The high is probably only 10% of the chemical genetic codes and makeup of that to enslave other people. I mean, that stuff is so addictive 
that it is only made to enslave other people. So basically, when you enslave people with those drugs and you sell those type of drugs or blow it up around other people or go out there trying to, trying to uh, catch people into that and set a snare for them, you know, think about all the people that you are destroying. All those people, their blood is on your hands. You're responsible for the ones tearing up that family. You're responsible for killing those people. Now you gotta understand. I understand with the word, with hip hop and the word nigga, and you gotta understand, you have to dehumanize somebody to nothing. You have to totally not care about them. And a good way to do it is use racist terms, derogatory terms. You can do it to any national group, Muslims, Jews, Christians, anybody, blacks. You know, you can make them less than human so that you can serve out your purpose. Your purpose of destroying other people. When half the time you would not let anybody destroy you. Or you would do anything to save your life. You know, that's basically what you're doing. Is selling out yourself to, to sell out other people. You know? You know, all that stuff will come back on you. You have destroyed, it's not only them, you have destroyed grandmothers, grandfathers, all of that. You know, you're, the work you're doing is, I, I can't use less than a better term than demonic. When you have a, a you're like a sorcerer. Um, uh, you're being used like a sorcerer with a magic potion sorcery and magic potion to turn people into zombies you know people that you say are not worth life and they're just like you they could be your cousins or anybody else or somebody else's cousin for a car or a ride or 10 minutes of frame because when it comes time and you get too high or get too much money or or this or the next person is going to come up they're going to shoot you kill you and then when you where will you be where will you be you know do you want that kind of it's no different from chemical warfare than dropping a chemical bomb on somebody else a, a weapons of mass destruction. They, they destroy total communities. Do you want that kind of, of malice on your soul, on your grave? Because that's exactly what's that. What goes around comes around. While you're setting a trap for somebody else, you're setting a trap for yourself. When you're selling somebody else out to the devil, you're selling your own self out. You know, now I know people who do that can't believe in God or can't believe in the devil in order to do what you do. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Okay? In order to do that to somebody else. You know, children are being, children's lives are being destroyed because of that. Communities. Because of you wanting something that somebody else made. Make your own. You want to be a businessman, find a way to make some money. You know, there are ways. There are other ways. You know, just because somebody sends you a fast track buck into a, a, a nowhere, into a dead end. You know, you're going around with all these skulls and death and all of that stuff. That's what that represents, you know. And it's so funny that, you know, it used to be beautiful imagery. You know, and usually, you know, uh, skulls and all that stuff on your apparel used to be for Satanists. But that's because he's got, you know, the Satan is, is, is using you, you know, now. So you're affiliating with that and don't even know it. You know, look at yourself in the mirror. Look at, see who you are. Are you a real man? Or are you somebody who is too weak to get a job to, to, to better your own self without depending on somebody else, without trying to go for a fast buck? You could clean. You can do work. You at least live long enough. 
There's, there's life and there's life and life are more abundantly every day. I don't care what your surroundings are. You should be a greater man inside than what is outside of you. So the next time you think about selling out your people, your life for, you know, you're also selling out your life for a fast buck. You know, that is taking you nowhere. You know, I just want to just bring that to your attention. You know, be blessed and be a man.